right, my friends, Andrew here. And in this short video, what we're going to go over is the workflows and automations uh, for your marketing, for your email marketing, for your text message marketing, for your inbound and outbound phone calls. Now, when you log into your account and you see this bar at the top of your account and it asks you for your phone configurations, these are missing uh, and to contact your agency or if it is available to you, um, this is a phone number that you can add inside of your account which is going to allow you the opportunity of doing text messaging, uh, two way text messaging, conversational messaging here in the conversations tab, uh, you'll be able to send text messages from here using the phone number that you will set up inside of your account. Now there are some fees associated with the marketing inside of the Kauki system. So for example, um, your phone number will cost you $1 per month. Um, and then you'll have some, some fees associated with the inbound and outbound calls. If you're curious about those, there is a link right above the video and you can see the fees associated associated with that. Same thing with text messaging and email marketing. Now, when you get down here to the marketing tabs, there's two right here on the left hand side, you're going to notice one says marketing and one says automation. When you go to the marketing tab, you'll see everything inside the system that is available to you. The first thing is your social media planner. This is going to allow you to, to, to post posts onto your Facebook um, business page. We'll get into that in another video, but we're going to focus on here in this video is the email builder and the templates. So in here in the email builder, uh, you'll see that you can see a number of emails inside of your account by default. Uh, these are the affiliate emails for those of you who are interested in promoting our system as an affiliate. Um, but they're also really good emails for you to get a good idea as to how the templates work. So the first things first, I'm gonna go ahead and ignore uh, the phone number settings. But up here, you can see that you can create folders and you have an ability to create an email. I highly recommend that you create folders for your email campaign so that you're easy to find uh, and easy to navigate as you go through this process. Now the templates, for example, each one of these is its own template. We're going to show you what that's going to look like when it comes to the automations here in just a moment. But when we open this up, this is what the email builder will look like. You can craft your emails any way that you see fit. You can import images, drag and drop into the editor. It's actually very, very easy to use. Very user friendly uh, when you're when you're building these out all of your elements are here on the left hand side and all you need to do is just simply drag them and drop them onto the page and then you'll be able to edit them to your liking you can throw dividers in custom code videos a shopping cart rss items for those of you who are in to blogging uh, you can do that there as well you want to have your footer text right in here you can throw this inside of here and this is actually going to pull all of the information from your account settings and pull that into your email so it's going to help you uh, get things done a little bit more expeditiously and this is right here is just going to be a template that you will have your appearance you can see right here that you have the option of really getting uh, into a really really granular and really personalized approach to any of the emails that you want to build for those of you who want to get really really into uh, branding and styling of your emails you have a lot of options here underneath the appearance section here under the settings you're going to notice the from name uh, inside the system this is all set up for you um, you'll just need to simply set up your profile the way for, for with your name obviously and your email is going to pull that into here automatically so inside the system here you'll see the preview text the subject line all the tags that you can pull in from um, we'll get into what these are in another video so you can get a little bit more idea um, there's a lot to this so we'll, we'll kind of show what that kind of looks like but if you wanted to get a good idea as to one really basic use of it here you can pop this down and you'll see right here where it says contact and you can go and you can pull in their first name or their full name or their company name whatever it is that you wanted to say and or pull in dynamically from a contact record and put into an email uh, you can do that from these tag settings here and this of course is related to the subject line now we go into the next step you'll be able to schedule this um, you'll be able to add to different smart lists which again we're going to get into in another video or you can just simply send to all of the contacts a lot of options here that we're going to go into as we continue to share with you how all of this works the purposes of this video is just to kind of go through and share with you what is involved now whenever you're sending a test you can open up this option right here um, i always like to make sure that i test my emails before i send them to my list so here you can put your from address the to address and the subject line the real easy stuff um, i use two different email addresses in my business so my from address is going to be my uh, the same one all the time and then my to address is the one that i'm going to check on my phone i'm going to check that on the browser and my subject line generally is just test something real simple i send that to myself and it gives me the opportunity of testing the links to make sure that it uh, all the links are working as well as that the format 
that looks good inside of an email browser uh, that I sent to myself so I can make any adjustments that would be required there. Now you can see the actions here. Um, we can show our version history, which can show all the different emails uh, that we have edited in this particular one. We can also preview it so you'll be able to see what the email is going to look like here on a, a mock-up of a, a laptop, a mock-up of a tablet, and of course, a mock-up of a phone. So you can see what your email uh, will look like when it lands inside of the inboxes of your subscribers in the different formats uh, that it will be landing in. So there's pretty cool stuff inside of the actual email builder itself. And these become very, very important when you get into the automations. Now your automations are what you're gonna use to set up, for example, an email campaign. If you wanted to send a predefined series of emails, in our case, the five emails from our affiliate campaign to a person in an automated basis every 24 hours, every, every day of the week, you would do that here inside of a workflow. There's a lot of other things inside of workflows that you will have access to as well that we will get into very detailed uh, when it comes down to um, future videos and and the, what you'll learn through going through the help desk here. But for the base, base purposes here, it's very important to understand that we keep ourselves organized. Again, we have the folder option. So anytime you create something new, create a new folder to put those in. Even if you're testing, create a test folder for your account. That's gonna make it really easy for you uh, to be able to identify where your active campaigns are and where your test campaigns are. You can see here that we have a couple of folders. This is for Kalki app workflows. This one right here is for system management workflows. You will have these inside of your account as well. I encourage you to explore these. We're actually gonna go into detail in these again in a future video. This right here is your L Messenger Pro basic account activation workflow. And this is your affiliate follow-up campaign. Now the affiliate follow-up campaign is what we just went through here in the marketing tab. So I'm going to open this up, show you what this looks like. Now the reason why we have each of those individual templates is because right here in this campaign, you will see that we are pulling the templates that we have created. Now, if we choose none here, you'll see that we'll have an option of, of, of being able to create an email, but I personally like using the editor and then pulling them in through this way. It's a lot more organized. So this email right here is actually a template that we have from the email campaigns. Now, if I were to go down to the bottom, I'll show you what it looks like when you're first doing this. This campaign can be edited by you as you, as you, you can grow it, you can edit it, you can change it to your liking. And this is what happens when you add a new step. We can send an email, a text message, make a phone call, uh, deliver a voicemail uh, to their, their voicemail box. We can open up a messenger conversation on the condition they've interacted with our business page within the last 24 hours. We can DM them on Instagram. We can send them a text message manually. Um, we'll get into that as well in a future video. We can send a manual call to this person. Again, this is a manual step, so we're gonna show you how to do that. Either you will be able to do it, your assistant will be able to do it, or a member of your team. You can send them Google My Business messaging, which is basically just asking for a review. Uh, you can do actions inside of a CRM by adding a tag once they've completed a sequence. You can remove a tag when they've completed a sequence, update an opportunity stage. There's a lot of things in here like we shared before that you can do. Now, each one of these features is going to be independently trained in another video. So I'm not gonna go through these independently. I'm just gonna kind of share with you how setting up an email would work because this is the fundamentals of the system. So if we each clicked on send an email, you'll see that we have this typical email builder. But what we wanna do is we wanna predefine our emails so that we don't have to write them here. We wanna make them look really nice, neat, using that drag and drop email builder that we had just shared. So what we would do is we would create them they will then become available right here underneath the templates. So I can go here with L Messenger Pro follow-up, right? This is gonna pull in all of the information that we had with that L Messenger Pro follow-up. You can see right here, we have a dynamic uh, tag. It's gonna pull in their name. And then if I go ahead and send a test email, in this particular case, I'm gonna send it to Global Wealth Takeover. At gmail.com. And when I send this email, I will have an opportunity of seeing what that's actually gonna look like inside of my inbox. Another very important thing to take note of here is your stats. So you can see right here that the stats of each email in your sequence will be displayed. So you'll know the number that were delivered, the number that were opened, the number of clicks in each email, who replied to you in the emails, how many of them bounced, and some additional information such as your accepted, stored, rejected, and complaints that you might receive on some of your messaging. It helps you get a really good bead on your marketing and your follow-up. So I've already sent that test email, as you can see, um, we've already sent, let me go ahead and check my email to give you a good look 
at what that will look like here in just a second. Let me pull this off to the side so that we can go to the email and show you what this will look like. So you can see right here that the email has arrived. This is our test email inside of our inbox. And you can see that, you know, it's Drew with CloudKey. Hey, are you still interested in? Uh, and you can see that this email has gone out. So this is just a couple of minutes ago. This is what this email would look like inside of their inbox. And all we did was actually just pull that directly from our templates. So I'm going to go ahead and cancel this out. I'm not going to add this to this sequence. But this sequence is already available uh, inside of your account. So you can come in and add uh, content to that and or more. So here as well. Well, we have our app workflows. Like I said, we're going to get into these in a different video. I'm just going to show you to activate and deactivate apps should you decide to become a reseller with our systems. Here we have the drafts. This is everything that you have that are new workflows, things that are in draft mode. And then, of course, you have your published um, um, work inside of this particular folder. So this is all what you have available underneath the automations tab. Just remember that your marketing and automation is all combined in these two tabs over here so that you have an opportunity to keep things nice and neatly organized. This right here is going to be a sequence that you have by default. If you add a new one, you'll be able to create folders for these. Like we said earlier, scheduling a broadcast is as simple as just kind of scheduling something in here. Once you go through this process of, of adding a template, you can actually send that as a broadcast to your entire list or to sections of your list. Really, really cool stuff when it comes to that. Something that's also very important is being able to create smart lists. So here underneath your contacts tab, you're going to see an opportunity here to have some smart lists being created, which are basically just segments, a list of people who meet specific criteria. So if a person Person is a lead and has never purchased anything from you, you can separate that person uh, from a person who has made a purchase from you and send them a different message than you would a message to, of somebody who has already purchased something from you in your value ladder. If that person has purchased multiple products but hasn't purchased another product, you'll be able to target those individuals by kind of just filtering through using a smart list. Now that works here on the right hand side, you can see all of the different filters that you will have for smart list. Again, like we said, we're going to go over this in another video so you can get a good idea and understanding as to how each of these elements work and fit into your business. Once you understand how they work, you can come up with really awesome strategies to be able to implement this in your own marketing. So we're going to go ahead and cut this video off. This is all of the features. This is a basic overview of your marketing, your automation, and your contacts so that you can use these tools inside of your email marketing going forward. Remember, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to reach out to our support team. We'll be happy to help.